Well, how does it, let's go back to nutrition just for a second. How does that factor in, does that factor into all of that? Or tell me a little bit more about the nutrition side. So we're learning more every day about the fact that nutrition and mental illness are related. Okay. And, hmm. you know, studies have been conducted. There's a, a big study several years ago called the SMILES trial, which actually found that patients who were depressed that incorporated more of a Mediterranean type diet as part of their treatment regimen actually had better outcomes. Now, there's science behind this. And one of the scientific explanations is that a Mediterranean type diet is considered to be more of an anti-inflammatory diet. So foods rich in um, omega-3 fatty acids that you'd find in oily fish like salmon, mackerel, and tuna, uh, for example, right? And so we're learning more about the fact that inflammation is uh, related, closely related to mental illnesses like depression, anxiety, and bipolar disorder, just as it's related to other lifestyle illnesses like obesity and hypertension and type 2 diabetes. So making small changes to the way that we eat can potentially have big effects. Now, I'm not sitting here advocating that, you know, someone who's struggling with severe depression, if they just start eating kale and oatmeal every day, that's, that's a cure, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, incorporating the nutrition piece with the medications, if you need it, with the psychotherapy, I mean, you're putting yourself really in the best position possible uh, for recovery.